This is the day the Lord has made. We're going to rejoice today and be glad in it. I suppose that you know this is day 101. Boy, Word Warriors, we are off to a ripping, snorting start today. Our title is Liar, Liar, Pants on Fire. That sounds pretty good, doesn't it? In John chapter 8, verse 44, that's our power verse, it says this. You belong to your father, the devil, and you want to carry out your father's desires. He was a murderer from the beginning, not holding to the truth, that because there's no truth in him. And when he lies, he speaks his native language, for he is a liar and the father of lies. Now, you and I both know that lying is wrong. But if it's wrong, so why do we do it? Why do we do it? Well, a lot of times we do it because it's easier to do that than tell the truth. It, it just falls out, you know. And, and we don't we get caught doing something that we shouldn't have done or we forgot something we shouldn't have forgot. And we make up a lie to take care of it. Or maybe you don't want to do something and you make up a lie to cover that. It's little things. Just little things. Um, or maybe, <laughs> have you ever had anybody say to you, isn't this the cutest baby you ever saw? And you look at that baby and think, that's the ugliest baby I ever did see. Now, you've got a choice. You can either say, oh, it's the cutest baby. Or you could say, oh, you've got a new baby. And switch gears. That's the best plan. That's the best plan. I can't, it's written all over my face what I think. And then they'll say, what do you think of my new outfit? And you kind of shudder a little bit, you know, and, and, and you can't just, you just can't come right out and say it. So you're going to have to think of a way to just be nice about it. Are you buying new clothes already? And just move on, move on. You know, lying is one of the top 10 no-nos in the Bible. As a matter of fact, it's one of the commandments. Don't lie. And if you look at Exodus 20, 16, it says, Thou shalt not lie. Lying comes so easy. But there's a lot of different kinds of lies. Here's one. The, I call it the Pinocchio line. That's when you flat lie over everything. If, if the sky's blue, you're going to say it's green just because you can. And after a while, you start believing your own lies. You're such a, uh, you can't keep your lies straight. You, you say one thing to one person, one to the next. That's a Pinocchio line. And if you check your nose every night, you might see it's growing. Then there's the little white lie. I mean, they're not really bad. They don't seem, just a little, you know, it's not, yeah, just a little one. A white lie is the same as a black lie. Lie is a lie in God's book. Here's the next one. What about exaggeration? You know that goldfish wasn't no 12-pound bass. You know that. And yet, here we go. I think that's the easiest place to lie in something like that. And then we have gossip. Gossip. How's that lying? Well, I don't know. Here's how it starts out. Well, I don't know if this is the truth, but I heard... But I heard she was in the bar the other night with the preacher. Not me. Not me. Another preacher. We, we start out with gossip, but gossip isn't not, it's not the truth. The dev, devil loves it when we destroy somebody else's character. He just loves that and their reputation. And careless words are spoken without thinking. In Proverbs 15, 28, it says the heart of the righteous weighs its answers. Notice it says the heart, not the mouth, but it's out of the heart the mouth speaks. And sometimes by the time it gets to our mouth, it's too late to catch it. Um, there are the word think. We need to think before we speak. And those words are before you say anything about someone, think. The first one, T. Is it true? H, is it helpful? I, is it inspiring? N, is it necessary? That'll catch you every time. And K, is it kind? If it doesn't fit that criteria, then you don't need to be saying it. I remember a scripture about the things God hates in the Bible. Proverbs 16, 19, and it says this, 
There are six things that God hates, seven that are detestable to him. Haughty eyes, a lying tongue, there's number one, hands that shed blood, a heart that devises wicked schemes, feet that are quick to run into evil, a false witness who pours out lies, and a person who stirs up conflict in the community. That's There's two of those that deal with definitely with lies, but I figure a, a scheme, they, they come up with schemes, and I'm sure they're talking about that out loud. When they have a conflict in the community, it's their mouth that's getting them in trouble. So honestly, I think we belong to God, and we shouldn't be lying, right? Right, right. We, don't, we want to remember, is it true, helpful, inspiring, necessary, and kind? If it fat, fits that, you're okay. You're okay. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Father, thank you so much for us, but Lord, help us to control our lion tongues and our lion spirits, Lord, and help us just speak truth in every situation. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. I'll see you tomorrow. Tell the truth today.